Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing building with our Arc Reminders application. And in today's episode, we will learn how to use bootstrap lists in our application. So let's get started. Before we do that, I want to suggest you and recommend you that I am putting a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. All right, so let's get started. Now bootstrap list. So list is nothing but it is a set of uh, uh, list items like ordered list or an unordered list, which we can use. Now that being said, uh, bootstrap provides uh, utility classes like list group and list group items which uh, we can use it directly and ready-made in our application. So it will form a beautiful list with some styling applied to it by default. Um, and that is what makes it the beauty of using Bootstrap. We can also give um, different classes like active and state and disabled state, etc. So let's get started. Let's use a group in our application. So this is how our application looks like right now. And let's continue building on top of it to make it better. So I'm going to grab some code directly from the site list group and then we will add on it. So I'm going to pick just a uh, simple um, list group example here, nothing fancy. So I'm going to create a component and I'm going to create a new component and I'll call it comp ng generate component that is ng generate c and then I'm going to call it list items. So this will list down all the items from my uh, group. So let's create that component. Now that we have created this component, just go to HTML and copy paste that code for now, right? And to use this, the selector is app list items. And let's go to content where we had created three cards. And inside the cards, we will just call that selector and we will use them as print the app list items in each of these three cards for now. We will make them dynamic in, in, in coming tutorials, but for now, let's just read through it. So see, this is how it looked earlier. And now this is how it looks with the list. Something is not right. The cards, colors, the borders are not correct. So we don't want them, right? Uh, so we can get rid of them. Uh, we can just put some styling, additional styling and clear them out. We can say dot card border none. So you see now this is looking much better, much better list, right? Now, similarly, I'm going to take some more code and for each of the list group item, uh, I'm going to remove the border, right? And I'm going to remove the border here for list group item. And I'm going to just add list group item and I'll say just show border none first. And then I'm going to add border on top, one pixel solid, Say give a light color, and then border. Or you know what, uh, what would look good is just giving a simple border at the bottom. Right, and let's make this important. All right. Uh, I'll just say border zero pixel. Okay, it's still showing up. Uh, border bottom. Okay. Let's see one last time. Okay, so we'll remove border top left radius. Border list group will remove this border. And that's what we just did. And 
some more styling so bear with me uh, list group item all right so this is not working for sure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put border top uh, sorry border bottom We are trying to override the styles here. For some reason, it's not now, but I'll get that. Or I can just okay. I will take a look at it as to why uh, that is not happening. It's just a simple um, CSS class. Maybe it's something which is it is overriding. So I'll get that to uh, fixing it. All right. So that that was all about uh, using the list group uh, item in our application. So now it's shaping up well. It's becoming the application we want it to be, where we will share this week's reminders next week and this month. Uh, we'll have reminders. We will add them. It's shaping up slowly. So stay with me on this application when I build it um, So and also if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free Now that being said, let's see the next so in the next uh, tutorial uh, Let's see how to do some basic more sanitization and also I will start using tables I'll start using drop down list, etc., and much, much more. So, stay tuned with me on this tutorial series. Do let me know if you have any doubts and uh, queries. Thank you so much for your time.